Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Play Slay the Spire. We're going to do the exact same challenge we were trying to do last time. Um, get 999 block in a single turn. We were having a, in my opinion, we were having a fun run. Do a panacea, so good. Um, we didn't get what we needed, but I genuinely, literally, really, I am not blowing smoke up your you-know-what. Um, I, for real, think we were literally a card away. One upgraded in trench. You might be like, dude, that's... You're, you're putting a lot on that one in trench. I, I mean, yes, but simultaneously, you know, you're at 40 block. Now you're at 80. You know, all you need to do is not lose another 40 block by the time you get back to entrench and you, and you get a sustainable setup. So here we have to take flex, and I, I hope that it's clear why. With Panacea, Panacea, whatever the heck you want to call it, um, it's just our best option, in my opinion, because uh, if we draw it, it's on the same turn in a situation like this. Essentially, it's a free inflame for us. So let's see, this would be 10 and then it's 12, so it should be enough to kill you. So the optics worked out. Once we get, um... It's really good as well. <laughs> Once we get, uh... Flex upgraded is gonna be even better, obviously. But for now, I, I really like this current setup. And if we can't use uh, Panacea to get where we wanna go, you know, if, if we end up using it to block uh, a weakness or a frailty instead of a, uh... Well, you're going to hit me pretty good, huh? I'm willing to take it, even though we got an elite fight coming up. Um, if we use it to block a weakness or a frailty instead, hey, Flex is still a decent card, I think. And So, one thing I was thinking is there is another 999 block deck archetype. If we got Rage, Anger, and then or other zero-cost cards, and then Unceasing Top, there's a chance we could make it work, but it strikes me as a little slash a lot less consistent. Uh, than the deck that I was just trying to make work and we're only like four encounters in here So you might be like wow this It's not working at all this new thing. You're trying to get out there. Well, yeah, it hasn't really Had a chance to be honest. We probably should have blocked the vulnerability But it honestly does not matter as long as we draw two attacks next turn This deck isn't that strong yet, but it, I mean why would it be you know we're very early I also think the Body Slam still totally works. We're just keeping our options open right now. Because of the Guardian, I will drop... No, we'll, we'll hope to get another Potion later. This guy, he, we do very well with weakness against him, so... Um, I would say probably start with an Attack Potion of some sort, and the Carnage actually works real well here. Realistically, he will hurt us, but realistically, uh, I don't really... I don't really care that much, to be honest. We, we could always apply the weakness potion. 30 damage. 8, 7, okay, so it would be like this, like this, and then like this. It's the easiest task on planet Earth. Whetstone, huh? Oh, we need barricade, okay, so that's the easiest pick I, I ever could have asked for. Um, and with barricade, is there a chance, dude, this is like Whirlwind City. I'm just thinking about how I want to do this. These guys have got to go. Right now, I'm trying to think of who's not in Whirlwind range. I think with Flex, you'll be in Whirlwind range next turn. With two energy. With one energy, actually, now that I think about it. Now, you need to draw Whirlwind to make that happen. That's not always an easy task. <laughs> so, straight up, I'm not letting these guys mess with my run. Especially now that we've gotten Barricade. What do we need on top of what we got? Um... Well, pretty much the exact same deck we had last time would be, a, would be a really good start. So none of these really appeal to me that much. Brimstone does seem hilarious, but I'm not willing to, to do it. Um, just because that's not really what this deck's about, you know, is like outpacing these enemies. I think that we're much better off just keeping it the way that it looks right now. I don't even think we need an Entrench. Really? There's no... I, I took a path that didn't give us two elite fights. Coward. Uh, we need to upgrade Barricade. That much is, like, essentially non-negotiable. Um, 
I'm okay taking damage. Like, the Guardian doesn't scare me all that much. Uh, we need to upgrade Barricade. It would be extremely advantageous, albeit not altogether necessary, to get an Energy Relic from the boss. Probably our first upgrade, though. Uh, it, I, I really doubt... I mean, we could use this with Curses to gain strength, but again, I don't think it's that kind of deck right now. I think I'm going to upgrade Body Slam first. I just see Barricade as being uh, less useful. I Like, Pan Panacea and Flex both also get incredibly... Uh, they get a lot stronger uh, from having been upgraded. So we, we got a lot of targets. Like, we're spoiled for choice when it comes to upgrades right now. So let's see. We can do a maximum of 24 damage. You're at 20, 18. Okay. The best case scenario would definitely be something like that. Then. We take no damage. We'd rather have full HP for the Guardian if possible. I apologize. Like, I'm getting a little... Uh, up my own butt on the mathematics and the arithmetic here, but I do think it's it's pretty important. I think an armaments lets us cheat the system early. I'm, I'm willing to do it. Ghostly armor and barricade. Barricade, basically that just saved us a campfire, because we were definitely gonna have to do that at some point. Um, well, let's run the let's run it forward here. You're doing 12 damage? Well, okay, let's not run it forward. Let's just do it like that. <laughs> Because <laughs> I was like, how are we going to do this? And it turns out the answer is uh, putting up block, as is often the case, appears to be very good. Anyway, what's our next uh, campfire? That's a great question. I think our next campfire, I really don't want to have to rest. Man, oh man, do I want to avoid resting if possible. Uh, we'll be at 50 HP, which is acceptable. I think I'll take an Iron Wave just to bridge the gap. And I think our first upgrade is going to be Armaments. I really think that this... It, it's like probably getting the equivalent of more than one upgrade as quickly as possible. So I will go Panacea Flex. I think that's solid enough. Um, Whirlwind is 21 damage, but this is better value, very slightly. Alright, I... You might question... This'll get us there. You might question me on this one right now, but I really, really, really think we're, we have the best chance we've had out of the two runs we've done, to be fair, but the best chance we've had to get there. Uh, to get to 999 block. Now, the real problem right now is probably, uh, I mean, I would hope it's self-evident. Um, we have very little energy. Well, we have three energy, which is the normal amount. But we, we don't have enough energy to uh, play barricade as early as we would like to in most circumstances. Well, this is a terrible turn for us. Um... Why, why not play the block? You have barricade. You should have played the block. Very smart. Yes, you've realized that now. Still, you're going to punch through as a result of the uh, the block that you rolled over. So thankful. Or I should say I am thankful for that. So barricade being upgraded is really nice. But to get to four energy would be like I'm making the chef's kiss. You know what I mean? You get the idea. Uh, and now, I mean, Body Slam, we would love to add more to the deck, but it also basically doesn't have to do anything else. Like, it, it's going to kill enemies just on its own merit. Oh, cool. Another Barricade. Um, I do think, like, Juggernaut has a chance to be amazing, but I, I honestly think we don't need it. I also, sadly, do not think we can afford to take Velvet Choker, so I will take Eternal Feather. This is, you know, when I previously used to make block decks, oh, any card that has the five-letter word block in it, we're taking it, no matter what. Now, I, I take a more nuanced approach, you know, I taking things, and it's taken me a long time to realize this, taking things that are not exactly what we want slows us down. It's bad. Why did I play Barricade? Great question. Uh, as compared to our last run, by the way, this run is going to be harder uh, for the second floor. But the idea is, you know, a couple of things go our way. 
and all of a sudden we're we're right back into the swing of things. I think these guys are gonna get away with our gold. Really, a a, a huge benefit for us would be to pick up Mummified Hand. I just want to kill one, and I think we can get one via this, but just barely. Mummified Hand would be incredible, short of getting an actual real energy relic. Um, none of this works necessarily. Um, I I can't give you all my gold. I just I I honestly I wish that I could. <laughs> It would make my life a lot easier. Unfortunately, uh, just the time is not right. Go ahead, lower my deck, see if I care. Nobody else is doing any friggin' damage, so you guys, uh, you got a lot of problems. Now, this turn is, is substantially worse. Um, I think I will weaken you. Uh, you know, we don't have Sozu, so we do expect potions to be coming. And by the regular, so you should be killed. Next turn we're gonna get you. So we're gonna get uh, enemies being weak on the first turn. Is that worth much? It's not bad. The power potion is very nice. I actually do feel like we need something like Carnage. Um, some some genuine damage dealing, which is unfortunate because we we don't have the energy base to support it really. But what do we want here? I'm gonna say a doubled body slam is probably our best get, but a, a doubled um, hold up, uh, a doubled uh, like panacea would also be amazing, but it's not upgraded yet. So I really feel like we we sort of struggle to find a way to make it tick. We also, the deck's a little too thick right now, if I'm being sincere. Um, can't kill ya. I could do 15, I could do 20 damage, so instead we'll do it like this. We gotta do 21 damage next turn. Not gonna happen. Uh, I, I just don't feel comfortable using the power potion, to be honest. I know we're in a tough spot, but... the. Okay, give me the shrug, but it's close. All right, this is real tough. Well, I don't. I feel very comfortable using the power potion here. <laughs> Extremely comfortable. Um, but dude, I, I actually. I mean, if we had Panacea in hand, we could play Berserk, but we don't. So, I actually don't know what to play here. I feel like Combust is too dangerous. So, I mean, you could play Berserk, and then hope that you draw it with Panacea later, but. It's, it's pretty terrible, to be honest. I think we're gonna die. This is a serious bummer, dude. But, you know, tough it out. For now. How are we gonna get there? They're not really getting any stronger. That's true. So we do have a little bit of a window to just, uh... Nope. No, we don't. 27 or 13, we get to 23. We'd have to kill you. If we kill you, you're still gonna kill us. Alright, this hurts, but uh, I, I'm telling you... It might seem insincere. If we get an energy relic from our first floor boss, maybe we should have taken Velvet Choker for that matter. But if we get an energy relic from our first floor boss, I really think we had the win sewn up. Choose a card to obtain. Okay, this is, I mean, both Shrug and Rage are really good. But give me Rage for now because it's at the uncommon level. I'm not going to let that last run uh, get me down too much. One Elite yet again. Uh, I, I really think that uh, we were we were super close to having what we needed to have to make that run tick. Didn't quite get there. Life goes on, as I always say. So we want the exact same thing. We want an early barricade. If we could pick that up, I'd be over the moon. Short of that, I'll, I'll take an entrench. <laughs> Sadly, none of those cards really ticked. Our deck this time, or like the time we were just on, I'll admit. By the way, we should have just iced you, I guess, but... It was substantially worse. Uh, 
than our deck last time was. But, oh well, you know? It's the thing, we got we got the specific enabler we needed early. We got Barricade, but then we didn't have the means to play Barricade in a perfect world scenario. So, it just goes to show you that you can't always get what you want. We haven't really added much to this deck. Uh, we, we added Rage, and that's it. So we definitely need... I, I'm not, you know, trying to keep my dance card open, which is an expression that I'm familiar with but don't really understand at all. Um, why would I play the Defend there now that I think about it? But you know what? It happens. Um, I'm not trying to keep my dance card open for stuff like Body Slam necessarily, but if you're offering, like... So I do think Headbutt Rage is good enough. This arm is also great, but, you know... Give me the 20 damage on this one. We're kind of, you know, we're angling for... Uh, what I would describe as more interesting stuff. I'll go for the easy upgrade. Like, Rage gets good, but Bash, you know, without any other means of gaining damage... Definitely seems more advantageous. Uh, you know, depending on what happens here... I'm going to keep looting, for sure, but uh, I want, without a doubt, and maybe use this to block vulnerability, but... Um, I want uh, zero-cost attacks combined with Rage. He does still get stronger. I still think it's worth it, though. I'm going to bring Rage back, honestly. I think we, with five turns of vulnerability, we probably got you dead to rights. Yeah. Okay. Dreamcatcher. You might think this is disappointing for me. I'm actually relatively stoked. And I am going to take a Pommel Strike uh, just for draw. But you know what we're looking for. <laughs> so we're looking for relevant materials. Extra decks. I have to imagine, you know, why wouldn't you take extra decks given the opportunity? You know, you're trying to get to 999 block. Sure, thank you. Might be one of those scenarios where that extra one dex is worth way more than one uh, once you start to get down to brass tacks. I kind of want the gold, but I'm going to abstain for now. So with an upgraded bash, essentially, we just wake you up. This guy's going to hurt us a little bit. We got no potions, which is uh, a little surprising. Hear me out here. I think we'll headbutt rage. Then play Pommel. Then play Rage. We're getting 10 block per attack. Then we'll just attack. So this is sort of... and It's going to sound like, how could I have possibly planned for this? I, I understand. We're going to hit you on this one just to try to get ahead. But it's kind of my game plan is to, you know, draw this Rage whenever possible. Uh, and whenever possible, draw it twice per turn even. But that's why I didn't draw last turn. I was worried that... You know, Rage would, uh... It would come back around too quickly. Omomori? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, Omomori. Um, I, Fiendfire is a lovely card. He says as he ignores it. I just, you know... We're not trying to build the best deck. We're trying to build a deck that has the capacity to get to 999 block. Have we drawn... We have not drawn Rage yet. So I think we benefit from this. Beautiful. When you're right, you're right. Now this isn't actually going to be worth anything at all now that I think about it. But Okay. Does this deck, as of right now, have the capacity to get to 999 block? Yes. I know you're going to be like, what the heck are you talking about, dude? Um, I think we have a shell that could get us there. Zero cost attack, Rage, draw, etc., etc. We definitely, like, obviously need more, but I think this is a good start. I don't think spot weakness is necessary. Oh, I hate this, dude. This fight, uh, just banish it, please. I know. To, to use a steroid potion to kill one enemy seems pretty bad. Uh, I guess I'm a, I'm a bad boy then. Uh, because that's exactly what I did, dude. 
We were looking for rage. We'll headbutt. We won't put rage on top of our deck. Because we're about to draw. We'll put something trash on top of our deck. And then hope to draw rage next turn. Although I guess suppose we could have drawn it next turn anyway because of the sh reshuffling. But Let's see. Nine damage. Might as well focus on one, I think. Because then instead of keeping the benefits uh, torn here between two enemies. That's beautiful. Um, you're dead. We can eliminate all of the benefits that one of the enemies had in a single swoop. But, it, I mean, we don't need to talk strategy for that in all likelihood. I actually think armaments is unnecessary here. And that's a big, uh, it's a learning experience for me to even be saying that, you know? Previously, I, I put about nine armaments in every single deck I ever constructed. The times have changed ever so slightly, but only ever so slightly. I mean, you know what I want here. I, I really... Check this out. So I think we do this. And this. And we headbutt to make sure Rage is on top next turn. We probably still go for it, but we, we don't have to. Although... Hmm. I, I think we still go for it. <laughs> Just break him, dude. 75. 66. Explosion Potion. Um... Anyway, what I was going to say is what we want, without a doubt, is Barricade. Let's bring a Rage back next turn. I'm trying to think if there's, like, literally anything else that would be any good for us at all. With this specific archetype in mind. Why do it this way? Well... Figured we might as well put you on 43 HP. We're going to break you as soon as possible. Any attack will break you. Um, might as well put you in a situation where you're a little bit more compromised. You know, so we can hopefully get you to that level in the future. This is exactly what we're looking for. Draw two. Um, I think I'd rather just hit you twice and take no damage and make sure you're dead next turn. We got a lot of status effects on us. The slime fight is by far my least favorite. Just for the record. It's the only fight where once you get past the halfway point, it gets four times harder. Seems seems grossly unfair. Um, but sometimes, admittedly, if you got the right deck, you don't even have to deal with this part of the fight. Straight up, get this garbage out of my deck, even at great personal cost. Um... You know, again, if your deck's strong enough, you don't even have to worry about this particular stuff. So let me let me do the math here. You can go down to 28. Next turn, um, just all of our good attacks would be nice. Well, we're definitely going to hit you. And we'll put Rage on... You know, I think we should actually put, like, Pommel on top just to kill faster. We're still in lethal range for sure if they both choose to attack. Pommel. Strike. And then headbutt and bring back Pommel. Now it's it's impossible for us to die, I think, but... Well, it's very nice for us that they chose not to attack. Let's put it that way. So this deck, it, it, you know, we might have the opposite problem of what we've had recently. Um, which is that... It's easy for us to imagine how we would get to 999 block, but it's impossible to imagine how we would actually get to the bosses on the floors to begin with. So this is obviously not uh, what we're looking for. I still genuinely think... I mean, Bludgeon is good. Don't get me wrong. I will... I will... <sighs> you know what? Toss me the Brutality. We don't get an energy relic. We can pick and choose five cards to add. Okay. This is important. Anger I will add, probably. Yikes. Yikes. Um, I, I think we're in a very tough spot yet again. Give me the anger. Um, I think I can take another headbutt. 
I don't think we have anything else that works too well for us here, but like just keep in mind I'm trying to thread the needle between a run that wins and also a run that wins under our unique parameters Like I know you you might be like, you know, that you, you didn't take the best cards in that situation Yeah, I know but it's not about winning on ascension level zero like that's Don't take this the wrong way, but not really all that difficult all things considered what's difficult is trying to win we we're really open for rage there, thank god. What's difficult is trying to win uh, whilst also putting ourselves in the sort of situation where uh, we, we could conceivably keep our deck archetype open enough to get to 999 block. Not that easy, to be fair. So far. Um, this is exactly what we want, I would say. Anger, headbutt, bring back an anger. You know, they say don't look back in anger, but I say always bring back anger. You know the song. Oh, Sally can win. You know it's too late as she's walking on by. All we need to do is play a single shrug. Yeah, we're not going to draw. Uh, and anger, so... I mean, we got you here, basically. Now, I will say, I feel like this is probably... The sort of... Uh, fight that we would be strong against. So the fact that it was a little weak is very scary. I'm gonna actually take another shrug, even though it's unupgraded. We're in kind of... Oh, absolutely, I'll take Ritual Dagger. Having a, a one-cost incredible kill item, and that's gonna immediately be upgraded. Uh, I, I will m try to, m like, mill this into existence to kill enemies. There's no doubt about that. Brutality? Do here's the thing. I do want to play Brutality. Um, I just don't want to play it unless I have to. Does that make sense? There's, there's no point in me playing it until I actually get value from playing it. And I don't think we get a whole lot of value out of it in, in this unique circumstance. I gotta do 33 damage to you this turn. It's inconceivable. Um, yeah, I know. I've seen the movie. I'd rather just block. Gotta do 38 damage to you this turn. Not that inconceivable anymore. Still don't think it's worth playing. You know, we are wasting our time drawing it in that case. No doubt, but there we go. So Ritual Dagger is going to start to pop. Ritual Dagger is no friggin' joke. You know, if you can get it to, to slap early, you got some great stuff going for you. So Finesse, I, I mean, sure, yes, Impervious also is advantageous. But um, Finesse is kind of more along the lines of what I'm looking for right now, I think. If we could get Impervious to not exhaust, or we would have Barricades or Entrenches, I would love to see this. But it doesn't do anything for us yet. So I think Finesse with its draw is worth quite a lot. And then I think I will start to cut the basic strikes. Temporarily. Do we need anything else? Well, here's the thing. It's not really about whether or not we need anything else. <laughs> it's more about... Uh, and we'll definitely go for the upgrade on this. But it's more about... Um, can we afford to take the things that we actually need without screwing over our chances of winning in the future? And the answer to that question is, I ain't got any friggin' idea. Who am I, Nostradamus? I'm doing my best here, alright? Get off my back. So I think we'll headbutt. I don't think we're gonna get qu quite close enough for Ritual Dagger right away, so just give me the Angers instead. We might as well just play this, because I, you know, I like our cards. Although we would draw faster to Ritual Dagger, to be fair. Yeah, and that's, you know, a valid point. Actually, we should have headbutted Ritual Dagger back this turn, but we'll, we'll just wait for it next turn. With weakness, as long as we have, like, two attacks. I think we got you. Seven. I don't know, maybe we don't have you now that I think about it. Fourteen. You're at 18. I can't, I can't get you there. Um, I can get you there. We screwed up the math on that. We, we could have done that way easier. But to get the, to use the potion to get us out of that is A-OK. -okay. Um, now, blood for blood, brutality. Okay, now you got me, uh, you got me thinking a little bit. But I don't want to roll a thick deck, which would make that most conducive, so. 
I think we're gonna hang tight. Actually, I'm starting to like this deck. Feel like I'm starting to get what needs to be gotten. Definitely, I was gonna go to the shop. Let's go to this shop instead and get this one elite fight out of the way now that... I mean, probably should have been doing it for many reasons, but... Certainly the fact that we now have uh, easier elites is a justifiable approach. Definitely bash. Uh, definitely smack. Okay. So I do think this deck is is not as strong as last video's deck, which was like an easy KO. Oh, I love it. But it could get there for one. And then for two, um, I think it has a better chance of getting to 999. And I know you're like, that's not fair for you to say, NL, because you know that your previous deck didn't get there. So for you to say that this one has a better chance, it's not really sensible because of the fact that you already know the previous one didn't make it. To which I say, you think you're smart, huh? You think you're so freaking smart. Wow, you beat the run. Oh, you already have? Okay, cool. Congratulations. I'm, I'm very impressed, actually. Um, so I do think Juggernaut is actually really good. I actually think it could fit here. And moreover, um, because we haven't had a barricade yet, <laughs> kind of got to uh, let it ride. You know what I mean? I think we should play a Brutality just because there's no guarantee um, that we're ever going to get. You know what? Actually, screw this. Uh, I just wanted to play Brutality for zero, more or less. Sneko, you're not worth my friggin' time. Yikes. Just an absolute... You know what? Neutralized. Absolutely awful first turn. It's gonna put him behind the eight ball for like a minute, but... Um, I really... Genuinely think... I was so hoping to draw anger, dude. I genuinely think you just go on him. Don't worry about barricade in this situation. Give me a headbutt. Uh, and in this case, bring back Ritual Dagger. Sure. I know... We're not quite there. We're mighty close, though. I'll, I'll take the... What, a six damage? It's perfect. Easy money. Alrighty. Alrighty. No, no, no. Max HP is, is worth something here. Now, let's continue with the upgrades. I'll level with you. 999 block does not appear to be getting much closer. I definitely, I mean, I enjoy the idea of a body slam card. However, none of these are entrenched, just for the record, so. We don't really have that many big block turns yet. I think we got to... You know what? Okay, I'll find after I removed the strike, I still had space, so I'll take one. And we'll definitely make it a zero coster, but I'm, uh... I feel, like, decent about our current setup. Yikes, dude. I don't know. Um, I feel decent about our current setup. I feel pretty bad about it in the long term. So I think let's headbutt something back. Even a rage is pretty strong. Probably overkill. We just got to 35 block. We definitely, like... We have to take a setup turn, in my opinion. So, to get the Juggernaut out there, thank god it at least got the kill, but... Juggernaut is, is kind of a mission-critical part of our, our game plan here. I don't care about using Ritual Dagger to kill the boss, but I'm not playing Ritual Dagger unless it's gonna get a kill. Or do a substantial amount of damage. It's just the way she goes, you know? I'm gonna headbutt you. I'm gonna bring back, um... Anger, specifically because we need to draw something that costs zero for this to be worth anything at all. 
Okay, um, you, you've summoned a new group of enemies. I'm very displeased. So here's what you're gonna do. Headbutt, you bring back Rage, you finesse, you play Rage, and all of a sudden, look at what you got going on here. You know what I'm talking about. Thirty-four. So we're taking like seventeen damage. Yeah, but we're we're getting damage out there. It feels nice. Draw first. He's getting a little little touch and go. You know what? Ah! <laughs> we tried to ride the lightning on that one, hoping we get a good barricade. Twenty-four damage. That's a that's a joke. I'm not afraid. So you gotta go. Um, do we have draw? For once, we don't. So definitely, like, just anger. That's fine. You have to be bashed. And then I think headbutt makes the most sense. And then what do we bring back? Rage, I suppose. 24. We're gonna be at 15. We gotta do just, just a lot of damage. That's the, the real gist of this. Especially when you consider that we have brutality. Um, we, we gotta do a lot of damage. I would like to draw more. That's that's the real meat of this now. That was a pretty great turn. Honestly, also a pretty good turn. But I have to live? <laughs> I think I gotta go for the gusto here, dude. Oh my god, it's worked. Okay, it's easy, dude. It's not a difficult run at all. Um, I know you're like, well, you gotta think impervious. Do I, though? Does it do anything? I'm gonna take it, but I'm scared. I would rather have energy than, than one curse, three relics. I know that sounds... Absurd is not absurd, okay? It's a real strategy that you wouldn't understand because it's too advanced for you. I'm trying to think, you know, getting the win is probably now the more reasonable <laughs> use case for this run. As much as I hate to admit it, for whatever reason, we're just going to bring draw back. Um, because getting Ritual Dagger to pop is probably our most valuable, uh, most valuable way for us to survive. So, I'm, oh, we drew it. That's beautiful. Survive and win. But, like, barricade? <laughs> no barricades, huh? Alright, well, tell you what I'll do instead. I'll pull a basic strike out of the deck. Probably skip that other shop and maybe try to get to the late one instead. I know, you know, like, good instincts, it is block. I can't deny that, but I, I struggle to... struggle to find his relevancy. Yo, I screwed this one up. We should have acted slightly differently here, but... Um, one more attack. Yeah. See, you're doing enough damage. I'm gonna take 14. This combo is working out real nice for us. I can at least feel positive that, you know, Juggernaut, Rage, Draw, uh, and a lot of zero-cost cards is is doing an incredible amount of work. Uh, now that I think about it, actually, I, I sort of hate this. I know you're like, just play Ritual Dagger. It's not like the way, unfortunately, that this works. Like, the Ritual Dagger won't get buffed by that because he's not really dead. I think this fight, and it's not a big deal, but I think this fight is actually just bad by Ritual Dagger standards, like... I, I, I don't even know, I think the only way it works is if you kill the third one. Even if you kill, like, the second one, and then you kill the third one after with something other than Ritual Dagger, I don't think it gets you where you're, you're trying to go. Easy. Why skip the elite? Great question. I can't give you my gold. My gold is, is a precious resource. 
belongs to me and me alone. Just trying to draw anything that might give us value in the future, and, uh, you know, yes, we take three damage, but that, I would take that trade any day of the week. Yeah, I don't know why I handled this like this, but we're really just trying to get Juggernaut, which, which gives us free damage, guilt-free, but... There it is. 16. How much is that? 21 damage? I'll, I'll hit you again. 15 damage. Much better. We do want to make the Ritual Dagger pop. Um, just might not be the right turn for it. Probably now is the right turn for it. What are you doing? 10? I'll live with it. Just because Ritual Dagger will ice you here. And Ritual Dagger could get us the KO. This does stink a little bit because like... I just want to not take damage or be cursed forever on this turn. If you could muster the ability to do that, I'd be very appreciative. Yes, I could kill you, but much rather wait for Ritual Dagger to have a chance to ice you and get much stronger. So we're, we're trying to get to that shop, which means we got to cut across. Dude, we're not going to get to 300 block. Look, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news either. <laughs> Or as I like to call it, based on the movie from the 1970s and also 2004 with Billy Bob Thornton, The Bad News Bearer. I'm not waiting for you to laugh at that. Like, it's not that good, but I'm just, I'm thinking about the way to approach this run. You know, Rage is doing a staggering amount of useful work for me. Don't get me wrong. It's mostly, like, I, if I could get the entrenches... Man, I'd be over the moon. But we're very unlikely to get the entrenches. We should have shrugged first. This is like, I'm I'm making all sorts of weird mistakes here. Um, the run, as I see it at this point, basically is just more about getting the victory as opposed to anything else. Unfortunately. Trying to see. 13, that'll put you at uh, 82. Definitely not going to quite get you there. 67. No, we got you there. Who would have thought, dude? And Ritual Dagger is just disgusting now. Pretty good chance to KO one of these uh, enemies really quickly. This is a simple one, right? You just, like, smack, headbutt, shrug. Bash. Why Why would you do it in that order? That's a great question, but we iced one, so I don't care. Good. No Ritual Dagger. So we get a chance to put Juggernaut out there, which is very big. We really want to draw Rage. 16, 26. I'll just go for this, then. Um, I, don't, I don't really care about making Ritual Dagger pop on this one. As established, uh, I hate this fight, and I think it's uh, not very good. For Ritual Dagger specifically. But, you know... If we get the opportunity to do something like that, I think there's there's value to be had. I'd like to leave you on 3 HP if possible. And, uh... This actually works for me. I, I can live with this. Yes... Yes. Bring back Rage. Shrug it up. Play Rage. Play this. I hate you. <laughs> How are you alive? I'm I'm upset. I mean, you're both dead next turn. Couldn't you have just done me a solid and done it this turn? So I didn't lose Brutality HP? Still don't think any of that is... I mean, none of it is necessary. Does any of it help us get to 999 block? I sadly think the answer to that question is definitely no. So we brought Bash back. Um, this, is a, this is a tricky one on this guy. The vulnerability is going to be nice. Rage is very important. You really want to draw Juggernaut after that. We could make do with maybe bringing Rage back, drawing it, playing it... It's a really bad time to get Juggernaut, but at least he's vulnerable forever now. Um, so definitely, like, anger. 
I just, I, I don't know if we have enough damage to get him to the point where we don't take damage, which is literally like the spirit of the fight, yes, but the way I think you do it is something like, uh, like definitely get the angers out there. What I was just gonna say is you, you bring rage back, like, on your next, uh, fight, or your next encounter, but I didn't save enough energy to use Headbutt, because I'm dumb. <laughs> so Headbutt, Ritual Dagger, Shrug, Ritual Dagger, we take zero, he's not doing anything, life goes on, dude. I can't deny that it's a fun run. If this were about having the most fun of all the runs, I'd be up there. But it's not about fun in this game right now. It's about getting the 999 block. We haven't even gotten over 40. So, uh... There's a ways to go. I also I don't even know why I took Impervious now, dude. Okay. We should bash. Headbutt. What do you want to bring back? Let's bring back an Anger. Shrug it up, dude. He's dead. You got a good body slam. It's gonna be good. As Rob would say. It's gonna be good. Rage. It, now we got some good stuff. All we gotta do is 21 damage to this guy. Dude, how good would an Exhum be in this deck right now? It would absolutely slay. Don't need any of that. 98 HP. Come on, Entrench. Well. It is what it is, but that's why I'm so devastated. <laughs> if you'll allow me. Hold on. I just gotta I'm gonna alt tab temporarily. I'm gonna be like a probably two minutes late for my own stream, so we just give me a moment. I will be five minutes late. Sorry. Enjoy more pre-chat. Of course we will make up the time at the end. Mouth smile, mouth yeah, babe. There you go. See that's all then you go to the other you go to the other window. You don't worry about it too much. You don't you don't worry too much about what's happening there. Okay, you go like that, like that. This is gonna is we're gonna take a bunch of damage here. It's uh, not gonna be good, as Rob would say. Um, but now you start the slap. Look at this. The slaps have begun. Ritual Dagger is like legitimately. One of my favorite freaking cards in the whole game. When you get a Ritual Dagger deck that just pops, it feels amazing. I mean, this is... We've had ones that are better than this. It's still really good. I'm, here's the thing, dude. I'm trying, like, not to kill you, but... Okay, it actually worked. I wanted Ritual Dagger, and we got there, but it was a little touchy. Um... Obviously, we should fight a boss from Act 1. I don't know if Calipers would give us enough. Might as well wait on it. Um, I don't know if Calipers would give us enough to get to 999 block. Of course, my expectation is no, because I'm, like, you know, I, I'm not arithmetically as stupid as I pretend I am sometimes, but it's, it's not necessarily an ideal situation. Uh, but we're going to try to make it work regardless. This does 90 damage. Might as well draw one. I think we'll just keep, uh, you know, bring back Shrug. Because I really just want to wait it out until Ritual Dagger can kill you. So we need Bash and then, like, in two turns to draw Ritual Dagger. Which is fairly realistic. Like, that even was totally fine. Works for me, brother. Fossilized Helix does not really help us get to 999 block. <laughs> but it is fun. You know what? Rest me. Yet again, we had... Oh, I thought that was barricade and I was going to cry. Um, I'd cry with joy, by the way. But it was still like... It was not an unfun run. And it still might be touchy to see if we can even win here. But I think we will. Um... Hold on. Hold on. Headbutt. 
Have we played Juggernaut yet? Yes, we have. Then bring back Rage. Draw Rage. Oh, dude. Oh, it's a dream come true. Nobody could ever ask for anything. But bring back Rage for next turn. Oh, baby. Look at this. Yeah, still a fun run, but, uh, you know, when we get the... Well, so far, I should, I'm not trying to complain too hard. By the way, why wouldn't you play Rage first? It just doesn't even make any sense, dude. Um, so far, when we've gotten the cards we've needed to fulfill the unique challenges of the run, we have not had a deck that I consider capable of winning. Should have tried to draw first, see if it's Rage. But it can't be because it's in our discard pile. Close. Why not? I mean, you might as well get it out there. Um, and then when we've gotten the cards we've needed, we haven't been able to win. When we don't get, when, when we are able to win, we don't get the cards we need. When we got the cards we need, we're unable to win. Now, whose in inability or whose fault is that inability? Mine, because I just forgot to play that defend. But ignoring that, um, not mine, because I prefer that it weren't. Rage is like our best damage dealer at this point. It's the greatest card mankind could ever ask for. Now, I shouldn't have drawn it. It's too good. You don't want to draw it in that situation because it's too good. Very common problem. Too good to use syndrome. Only this time, like, for real. We're perfectly set up for these guys. We, like, three turns here so far. We've already gotten, like, the exact amount of block that we need in order to not take damage. Well, yet again, another fun deck, but, you know, I'm cognizant of the fact you're not watching this to see me win on Ascension Zero. Simultaneously, you're not watching to see me win at all, or you would have bowed out ages ago. <laughs> so hopefully you've enjoyed the run regardless. It's been a fun time, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. That was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will... See you next time. See ya!